Hello guys, it's your boy TJ here. Finally, Apple has launched the iPhone SE which most people awaited for since the launch of the iPhone SE way back in 2016. Now coming to the point, it's now 4.7 inches same as the iPhone 8 and not as small as the previous gen iPhone SE. And this iPhone SE has the same chip uh, present in the iPhone 11 and the Pro series, uh, the A13 Bionic processor which is quite great given the price point. It will easily last for years to come, it has the fastest chip in the planet and uh, AR with ease and high processing power for games like PUBG with no frame drops. It has a single rear camera just as the iPhone 8. Same as the iPhone XR, it has the portrait mode with single lens, whereas the Pro series depends upon the other lens for portrait mode, with 6 different types of uh, portrait modes. Now it can do 4K60 with external dynamic range and also comes with a quite um, uh, quick take uh, same as the uh, iPhone 11 series where you can start shooting videos without going into the mode like a shortcut. And um, uh, with comes the home button which most people prefer over the Face ID same as in iPhone 8. And also pretty much same battery life on iPhone 8 around 1830mAh. And also comes with 5 years of iOS update without any hiccups um, with that monster A13. It's available in 3 colors, um, variant uh, black, white and product red which will donate a percentage to the, uh, of the price for the cost of COVID-19. And also available in 3 storage options, uh, 64, 128 and 256 gigs. It has 7 megapixel front, cam uh, front facing camera and an upgrade from iPhone 8's 5 megapixel. And it also supports the front facing portrait mode uh, just as other iPhone with Face ID which is quite strange and has an IP67 dust and water resistant for 30 minutes up to 1 meter. It supports wireless, uh, wireless charging, 3 touch is gone, now it comes with a haptic touch. It has the same 720p uh, display with 3 tone, true tone, same as the iPhone 8. It comes with the Gigabit Class LTE and Wi-Fi 6 which, is the sub which supports the new gen Wi-Fi modem so if you have one and it's great phone with, but the pricing could have been better under 40k but due to ongoing situation and hikes in, um, hike in the taxes in our country made it a little expensive but nevertheless it's a great compact phone with a starting price of 42,500 rupees and Apple hasn't announced the launch date yet and yet in India mostly after the lockdown and Hope you guys loved it and sub will be appreciated. Thank you guys for watching and stay home and stay safe. Peace.